Hello there YouTube Today I want to show you guys the changes that I've done to the Sprite Extruder um, hot end itself So I took the shroud away where the ventilation is actually in housed with So the sear touch that is attached to it I remodeled a model um, that was available for this um, and if you can see it is actually the same model of this one but now just only this the part that you actually need to put the uh, sear touch on it so nothing on this side no fan or not whatever and also this part which is actually also from this model that's here um, is sitting right behind which is this one so it's here in between is only attached with one uh, screw in the back and one screw on this side and also we have another part here which holds these hoses for the water cooling kit on a, on a 90 degree angle and it's been inspired by this model which someone um, on my discord channel actually made and it was supposed to come like this but then the angle of the hose was in my opinion too great to put it like this so I remodeled it and I made this one which is actually the version one is this so it's basically just coming on there and the other way is these are holding the hoses but I had to change this model as well to these clips that I designed and that's working so great for now and well it did take this well it's not really heavy but anything that changed the value of the of the weight of it is great so as you can see it, it's moving this way so it doesn't collapse to anything just like that and the cable is not being sacked to the um, hot uh, heat bed so it's really great for the heat dissipation to help it because here the cable is not long on this S1 that's why it is fine for now it doesn't sag to the ground well to the bed but this one was sagging to the bed so it was needed to put something in between like that my hot end is kind of finished I might change this one to a black PLA but that's like details and this one it was already in gold PLA and this one as well um, so that's why it is now looking two different colors but I might change that soon but you guys should let me know what you think of the new look of this uh, sprite extruder um, I might be able to take this off but I kind of look at it and it looks like two screws here so it is holding actually this part and this motor part together um, it might be also this part on this side might be doing the same thing but I like it to be sturdy with these because if I take this off it might be unstable not sure because I know this slides into this section where the extruder motor uh, is going into and that's why I didn't take this off uh, it is actually the the part that um, pushes the air to the hot end uh, heat break um, but now it's being water cooled as you guys know uh, that's why it's actually not needed but it is I might design something like this which will only have these two screws in it and not this one uh, the hose and um, anyways guys this was a short video to show you the updates about the sprite extruder what it now looks like um, let me know in the comments below if you like it 
if there is something that you would want to see in the future of it and guys don't forget to subscribe on the channel and leave a comment on this video here to participate on the Raspberry Pi 4B uh, 8 gigabytes giveaway because on end of the September it will be uh, lively uh, chosen who is um, uh, going to get it so you still have some time but it's better to do it now than keep it for later um, there will be one lucky winner anyways guys thank you for watching the video hit the thumbs up if you like the video hit the thumbs down if you didn't like the video subscribe to my channel if you would like to see more videos like this in the future bye